Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. Today you're going to learn how you can use a constraint layout together with a scroll view to have those uh, scroll kind of uh, interaction. For example, like when you try to uh, use an app that has so many views inside that uh, that screen. So usually the, you will see a scroll bar that will allows you to scroll up and down throughout the screen. So that's what we're going to be learning in today's tutorial. Let me show you an output of what you're going to build in today's tutorial. So here in the emulator, I have this simple app that has two views. It has a text view and it has, it has a button. What I, what I did here is I duplicated those views just to show you the scroll view effect inside the screen. Now, when I scroll to the bottom or scroll to the up, that's the scroll effect using the, the Android scroll view. But this one, I'll be using a scroll view with coordinator layout. Uh, sorry, uh, con uh, constraint layout. If you guys want to learn how you can use a scroll view with another layout, be sure to check out the tutorial that will that will appear in the in the end card, either in the top of the or the of the video or in the uh, in the description of this video. So without further ado, let's open up Android Studio and let me show you how I did that. So for this tutorial, I'll be working uh, fully with the layout file. That's the activity underscore main.xml file. We don't need the Java because this is all done in XML layout. Let me just close this. And just to give you guys a room to see how, uh, what I'm actually doing here. On the left side is the XML code. And on the right side here is where you're going to see the, uh, the actual view appear on the screen. So the first thing that we have here is we have a constraint layout. What we want to do is we need to add a, a scroll view. And the scroll view basically... Uh, uh, the rules of the of the scroll view is to have is to be the root layout, and inside that will have a single view. So what I mean by that is the root would be a scroll view, and then inside the scroll view we will have the constraint layout, and inside that constraint layout that's where we're going to have the rest of the views, uh, which is the the text view and the button. So you can't, you can't basically do a scroll view and then two layouts. It should be a scroll view that holds a single view and that, uh, that view or that layout basically holds the other uh, sub views. Could be buttons, text view, image views, you name it. So what we're going to do here, the first thing is to add a scroll view. And to do that, we'll do something like this. So scroll view. Okay, first is you can type it like this. Let me just undo. You can type it like this, or you can just open up the palette section. And you can see this scroll view, just add that inside the layout. Now, the moment I added that inside the layout, Android Studio will automatically give you a linear layout. And that linear, that linear layout is inside the scroll view. What we want to do is we need to take this scroll view, we need to put that in the root layout instead of the constraint layout. So we would have scroll view and instead of a linear layout, we would have a constraint layout. That's what we're going to do now. Okay, let's just copy this. You know what, just uh, let me just copy this scroll view. I'm going to put it on top here. Now you, you'll be seeing so many errors, so don't worry about that. We'll be fixing it as we add these views all together. So first we have the scroll view. Now Android Studio complains that this view doesn't have a layout. It doesn't have the layout width and layout height. Never mind, we will add that right away. Now we have the scroll view. And let me just have the closing tag for the scroll view. That's the first thing. Now the second thing is, you can see this XL, uh, XMLNS, this tag here. We need to copy this together with the uh, the second layout. Okay, before we do that, let me just close this. Let me just increase the width of this screen. Oops, uh, okay, let's close this. Okay, this is much. This looks much better. 
let me just fix these errors first and then I'll show you how that looks like in the in the appearance layout there. All right. What we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to copy these two lines. I'm going to move them inside this scroll view tag here. That's the first thing. And I think I did this tools. Okay, let me just copy these tools as well. I'm going to paste it right here. All right. And now we have the constraint layout and Okay, next thing is we'll add the layout width and height. So you just hover your mouse over this and you will get these uh, the attributes that are required. What you can do is you can click on this line here that says insert required attributes. So first it was Android height and now it's Android width. So for the, so for the Android height that would be match parent because you need to you need the height to be uh, matching with the size of the screen that's for the height next is we need to do for the width and that will be android width layout layout underscore width uh, oops layout yeah that's the one and that would be match parent as well Okay, let me just reformat my code so it looks much better. So here we have the width and we have the height of this layout. Okay, now Android Studio is complaining saying that there are multiple root tags because we have this scroll view and we have this constraint layout. What we can do here is just remove this scroll view because we have already added that on the top. And I'm going to copy this, this constraint layout. And I'm going to insert that inside this inside the scroll view here. All right, so now no more errors. And okay, another thing is Android Studio basically gives us this uh, warning. It says that the constraint layout should use the layout height that is equal to wrap content, because right now we're using it as match pattern, so it should be wrap content. We'll do it right away. And here we have the wrap content. And let me just. Uh, close this all right oh you know what let me undo this because we need we will be adding views inside this constraint layout but so far we have uh, fixed all the errors and warnings that was uh, pointed out by the Android studio all right let's open up the the layout file here again just to see the the, the actual appearance of what we're doing right now you don't see anything but once we add, once we add those text views and buttons, you'll be able to see them right here. And that's what we're going to do now. Inside the constraint layout, just click on the palette and uh, click on text view and just put it inside the, uh, the, the constraint layout. Match parent, wrap content. Okay, another thing is, you see that when I added the text view, Basically, uh, it's not adding that view inside the layout. Why? Because you can see this constraint layout. The constraint layout has a layout height as wrap content. So, you, so you basically, it's a bit hard for you to add the views inside the layout. One, I'm not sure if we call it a trick or or not, but what I what I found out was to to be able to overcome this kind of issue, what you can do is just put a margin, a margin you can say a padding, so Android uh, padding, and inside here we'll initialize that with 40 dp. The reason I added this padding so that gives you room for you to add these views inside the constraint layout, because early on, early on we couldn't add those because we have the layout height is set to wrap content, and if we change that to match parent, it doesn't work because Android Studio will give you the, the warning saying that it should use wrap content. Now we, we, overcome, we can overcome this by adding a padding. Once we add all the views inside this layout, we can remove this padding. So first we added the padding of 4 dp, that's fine. Next is we can add the text view inside the layout. So here we have the text view and this would be, uh, we'll add a constraint to the top, we'll add a constraint to the left, Oops, we'll add constraint to the left, sorry, to the right, to the left, to the left, all right. 
So we have the first text view. Next, we need to add the second text view. And that will be at the bottom here as well. And this would be below the first text view. Below the text view. We add a margin to the right. Sorry, uh, constraint to the right. Constraint to the left. And here we have the second text view. For the second text view, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add a margin that will give a, a bit of room between these two views. And we'll do something like this. So Android margin, margin to the top. And that would be, let's say 20 dp. All right. So we have these two text views. Next is, next we need to add buttons. So we have, based on the emulator here, we have one, two, five buttons. All right, we'll do it right away. Click on the button, just drag it to the screen again here. And we'll do the same thing, basically margin top, uh, sorry, constraint top, constraint top, constraint uh, right and left and then give a margin of uh, 20 dp as well let me just copy this and just paste it right here we'll do the same thing for the other button and that would be margin top sorry constraint top right left and that would be 20 dp as well you know what i'm just going to add the rest of the buttons and i'll show you i'll come back to you later with the the final output so just give me a minute and i'll be back all right so i've added the five buttons as you can see here and i've added a margin so i've added a margin of 80 dp for each view just to to be able to see the scroll view effect when we run the app later and right now what we can do here okay since we added the views we have the text view the first text view the second text view and the other attributes are basically the same thing the only the only difference is we have the the margin that is set to margin top that is set to 80 dp we have that for the button as well for the first button for the second button the third the fourth and finally the fifth and that's how it looks like finally is you can see here in the constraint layout i'm going to remove the the padding that we just added earlier in the video i'm going to remove that and here we have the padding so we're now we have removed the padding uh, final thing we can do here is just run the app and let's see how it looks like in the emulator so just click on the run button and wait for the app to build all right so build is complete and we have you can see here we have this space on top and we have these two views and the and the rest of the buttons now when i scroll up and down you can see the scroll effect is uh, is there and that's basically done using the scroll view here the scroll view tag and this is basically how the final result looks like all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, thank you so much for watching and happy coding